much better than you, and I'm going to be very toxic too. A huge fly of crab comes from my big mouth flap. How about that, you little brat? Competitive. The game mode that most of us play to earn those points for golden guns, getting higher SRs, or just improving oneself in their favorite heroes or roles. However, we all encounter those certain players in competitive that are really the ones that drag down our games. These are, of course, the toxic players. You've most likely joined a competitive match and had some random person tilt at another person just for random reasons. It certainly isn't a fun experience, and that's why I want to tell you how to deal with these people. But first, we need to diagnose the problem and find out what the symptoms are of toxicity. Have you ever experienced conducting in tilting, yelling at teammates, spewing racist remarks, firing off sexist comments, throwing, name calling, pointing out win rates, excessive profanity, violence towards personal property, wishing death towards teammates verbally, using the term hard stuck, or other negative actions that would not be considered playing the game? Then you should talk to your doctor about your pH level, because you might have toxicity. Now, there are a number of ways that someone can become toxic. Most commonly, it comes from either a person having a bad day and leashing their pent up anger towards you or a teammate, or it's just someone that cares way too much about losing their SR. We could go into all the reasons why people will react with toxicity, but it doesn't really matter. What we want to learn is how to deal with these toxic behaviors if it happens. Instead, let's run through a few instances of toxicity and how you should deal with them. Aside from this being one of the greatest encouragement statements that you could hear, you just have to ignore it. A person who tends to blame others instead of looking at their own plays is one you just have to mute. This does not include instances where a player offers a correction for one of your plays. They might say things like, I don't think it was a good idea, so maybe we should try something else. Or they'll say, I feel that your choice in heroes are not very good, so can you switch here? These are not inherently toxic. Only comments that have no attempt to value to help anyone's understanding of the game are considered to be toxic. This player has decided the game has already lost, and instead of trying to make the most out of the game, they deliberately go out of their way to contribute nothing to the team at all. Perhaps they switch to Torb and do nothing, or they just jump off the map and force a 5v6 throughout the match. Reminder, this is not someone that is underperforming. If someone is underperforming, that just means that that person is needing to learn and should be called out as throwing. This person may play one hero and therefore is actively throwing the, the game and must be dealt with harshly. My recommendation is to... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This isn't toxicity. The understanding of what toxicity might be is more often than not confused with perfectly okay behavior. The example I interrupted is one such instance of being incorrectly called out as toxicity. Playing a single hero is not wrong. It's actually how one will get better at that hero. If you fill or swap off that hero that you want to learn, you will never be able to learn the hero. If the person reacts harshly to being asked to switch, that can be considered toxic. But simply declining is not throwing or being toxic. Misunderstandings like this need to be corrected. And always remember, never react to toxicity with more toxicity. It would only make things so much worse for everyone in the game. Perhaps you're the toxic one. Yeah, I might be calling you out right now as the problem player. If you could be considered a bad apple by anything I've said in this video, I ask you, just please stop it. I know you want to win games or have a perfect team helping you out. Yelling at them or throwing spruins the fun for everyone and yourself. If you feel tilted, take some time off, play some other games. You can always play arcade or come over to my old buddy TF2 for some fun. 
cool down and return with a fresh mind so we can all enjoy Overwatch together. To close, let's listen to what Phase 2 coach Spilo had to say in reaction to a VOD where a support player refused to heal a DPS because they were playing the comp that that healer liked. If you're a person that throws because you're not happy with your team's compositional choices, you are scum-sucking, trash bag, mold, fungus face, garbage can. You are taking your irritation at a flawed competitive system out on every single random stranger in your game. Not only that, but you're so dumb that you would rather find more satisfaction out of denying pleasure to others than actually increasing your own chance to win and to have fun. You are literally, instead of like, uh, like fixing the situation or doing your best to do no, you're like, well, I'm miserable, so instead of making the situation better, making myself happier, I'm gonna make everybody else miserable because that'll make me better. It's literally like being on the edge of a cliff. Somebody reaches their hand out and you grab the hand and you throw them down with you. Somebody clip that and.